A nice warm glass of milk and some cookies. People think that helps them sleep at night. Well, the science would say that it just increases your blood sugar, so it really shouldn't put you to sleep. What it does is comfort you, just like having the person you love sleeping next to you in the same bed. But does the science really say we should be sleeping together? The science says most people don't sleep as well when someone else is in their bed. So, get other people out of your bed. That's my argument. <clears throat> there are psychologists who say that it's important to relationships that people are able to cuddle, that people are able to fall asleep at night in the arms of someone they love. There are also sleep researchers who say that having another person in your bed is more disruptive to sleep, overall less productive than sleeping apart. So it's a battle between the psychological benefits and the physiological downsides. Who needs another person waking you up in the middle of the night, coughing and snoring? They flop around when they can't sleep. They get sweaty on hot nights. They flop around? They flop around, it kind of, the mattress is all springy, it wakes you up. When's the last time you've slept in a bed with another person? People are afraid to admit that they're sleeping alone because others will set, start whispering, oh, the Johnsons aren't having sex. Oh, their marriage must be falling apart. It's not necessarily falling apart. They just choose to sleep in separate beds because they get better sleep. How do I know the Johnsons aren't having sex in the kitchen or in the garden or in the laundry room or in the pantry or any other place that they might have? They have a big house. All I'm saying, Talk about it, try it. It should be an open thing that people are willing to discuss. I'm not saying cuddling is bad. I'm not a monster. You know what my ideal thing is? This is a good tech idea. So there are basically two beds that start off together and you fall asleep. You can even cuddle and hold each other. And then the beds sense when you stop moving and they know when you're asleep. And the beds gradually move apart and then a wall drops down, and suddenly you're in separate rooms. And then when you hear the rooster crow, the sun rises, the wall raises back up, the beds start moving back together, and you know, the joy of waking up next to someone. I mean, is there anything better in the world than rolling over and seeing the person you love, your soulmate? In so many great works of literature, you hear it described. I just think people should be able to talk about it, that's all. You know, it's not for everybody. Some people sleep better when they're being held. Um, it's not me. Well, I'm not lonely. I have a thriving friendship. I have a lot of social, and a very busy social calendar. A lot of friends, a lot of... Uh, I get so many emails.